Now let's take a look at the jumpsuit of our character and it really defines most of the character's body. So it's an important part, a very large part of our model. And if we, we can reuse it, we certainly want to do that. And so if we take a look at it and let's just solo this jumpsuit out and we'll go to polyframe. You can see that the topology is okay. It's nice and clean. It's pretty high res, but that's okay. Uh, but the problem is that there is geometry on the inside. That's a lot of geometry that we don't really need especially when we're creating our UVs, it's kind of, kind of getting in the way. We're not going to use it. No one's ever going to see it. And so one of the things we can do is try to get rid of this. Now there's a tool in ZBrush, a plugin that is going to be really, really useful to do this because if we try to go in, we could mask off areas inside here individually inside of the openings and things like that. But if you go into like poly groups and look at the grouping, there are lots of different ways that you can uh, group polygons. There's also different ways that you can create masks but nothing is really going to give us exactly what we want because it is a complex shape. The plugin that I'm going to use is called polygroup it. And this is going to really help us out. So you can see right now it's made of one polygroup that we have a, a inside and an outside, and we want to create a polygroup that contains the outside and then just a little bit to the inside. Okay. So it covers the, where the rest of the geometry intersects with it. And so let's go ahead and I'm just going to make sure and look where the, where the um, head intersects. Okay, so we can go pretty far up. So we're gonna activate polygroup it with this subtool active. All right, so we get a version of our model in here. So I'm gonna place a dot on the outside here, and then I'm gonna use this slider and it's gonna expand. And so I want everywhere, I want all of the outside to be blue, and then just a little bit of the inside there. And that actually is not maybe going quite far enough. We'll grow it a little bit more. It's okay if we get a little bit extra. Let's look at all of inside all of the holes and just make sure it's giving us what we want there. We'll grow it a little bit more, get a little bit extra. And so if we hit okay now, you can see it's actually polygrouped that outside and separated it from the inside. I'm going to go ahead and delete the higher subdivision levels. And let's go ahead and hit control shift and click on the outer poly group. Go to modify topology and hit delete hidden. And now that geometry is gone. So we could use this as is. We could also try to, to do another Z remesh. So if we went into our Z remesher, let's try maybe half. And let's see what that looks like. So it looks pretty good. Let's try it again. All right, so you can see we can get a little bit lower resolution. We're still getting the nice topological flow that we want. And here it doesn't matter as much. Definitely around the joints is where we want that. If we go back and turn that back on, we can check our seams and make sure there's no holes there. I think we're looking pretty good. So what we can do now is we can actually go back and go to the UV master. Let's go unwrap. And we'll see what we get by default. I want to go ahead and flatten. Let's hit solo first. Go ahead and flatten it. And you can see that's the UV layout we get, which it's a nice kind of pelt map that's kind of unfolded there and it will work for textures. And so that's uh, something we can work with. We'll go ahead and unflatten. But you can certainly do custom UVs with that as well. So now we can export this out and bring this, bring that back in with our other geometry into Maya. So next we're going to work on the head and then move on to some of the other pieces.